Hi guys, welcome to Tom's Tournament Tips. New series on Instagram Reels, so check them out. One coming every day. First 10 are gonna be around perch. And my first tip comes today, and it's around using search baits. So if you're fishing a water that you've never been to before, you've gotta tie some search baits on to start with. Something like the Buzz Bite, something like the Westin Shatties, you can cover plenty of water, fish it quite quick. Only looking for a couple of bites. So once you've got a couple of bites, chuck those out the window and fish something slow. Get yourself on a Ned Rig or a creature bait like the Cree Craw, slow and low, and you'll get more bites. Right, guys. Guys, Tom's tournament tips number two. Always carry some lead wire. 0.6 of a mil. One mil is the stuff I use the most. 1.75 all the way up to that. Use it to adjust your crankbaits. Wrap it around your trebles to make floating ones into suspending ones. And also try this with creature baits on offset hooks. Wrap it round. You can slide it up towards the front. Nose weighted falls much, much quicker. Slide it round towards the belly and the creature bait acts as a parachute and it falls like that with the center of gravity. Much, much slower presentation. Hi guys, Tom's tournament tips number three for perch fishing. Get this question asked all the time. If you could only ever have one rod forever, what would it be? Definitely be Westin W6 Finesse TNC. To be fair, I'd probably settle for the W3 as well. So it is more affordable for you guys out there. But pair it with a 1000 size reel and a 10 pound braid. You've got a perfect setup, super versatile, everything from small canals and just a couple of grams and smallish Stanley sticklebacks all the way through to light sort of reservoir stuff. So really versatile, small crankbaits. This setup's ideal. Tom's tournament tips number four, jig head size. How on earth do you select the right size jig head? Get this all the time. General rule of thumb, the smaller the paddle tail, so something like this on the kick tees, I'm gonna fish it on twos, threes, fives, maybe sevens. Something like the old Westin Shad tees, nine centimeters, much more powerful lure, much bigger paddle tail, want more weight to get it going. So sevens, tens, twelves, maybe fifteens. Especially if I'm looking for a reaction strike, this is the one in warm water. Hi guys, Tom's tournament tips number four. Five, how do we avoid wind knots? Well, looks a little bit silly, but on a 1000 size reel, always underfill your reel. You're not looking for distance on a 1000 size reel, you're looking for accuracy. So a little bit of tension coming off that lip is actually what you want. On a 2500 size reel, that is perfect. Filled that up just nicely, not over, not under. I see too many people putting too much braid on and that leads to wind knots. So don't overfill your reels. Arms tournament tips number six. If you're enjoying them, press the like button. Thanks very much. Let's talk about spinnerbaits. You get two types, twisted star ones like this, open star ones like this. When I'm, I'm all, every time I've got a blade on, I'm always using a wire trace. When I've got a wire trace on, I've always got a clip. When I've got a clip, no problem on these ones, but on these ones, the clip can slide up and down and on the cast, it can tangle. However, put yourself a little split ring over the top like that, clip him on afterwards, and you won't have any problems with tangles. Tom's tournament tips here, round number seven for perch. Tonight we're going to play a little game. What are we going to play, Tom? We're going to play spot the difference. Six centimetre buzz bite, six centimetre buzz bite. Oh, middle treble on this one, not fixed. Middle treble on this one. I've glued him a little magnet on there. Why do I do that? The middle treble is the one that's most likely to catch if the bait folds in the wind, catches on the trace. So to try and eradicate that as much as possible, that little magnet holds that treble in place, no problem. Tom's tournament tips, round number eight for perch. Get yourself a set of these scales. They're about 10 quid off eBay, measure down to 0.1 of a gram, so super accurate. Weigh all of your jig heads and your chebs and compartmentalize them. Why'd you do that? Well, sometimes they're half a gram or a gram out, doesn't sound that much. If it's a two gram and it's actually a three gram, you're 33% out. If it's a two gram and it's actually one and a half gram, you're 25% out. They're huge percentages and they do make a difference. So be specific and you'll... Tom's Tournament Tips, round number nine. What style jig heads do we use in what situations? There's three styles that I always keep in my bag. First one is a round jig head. Always the most versatile. You can use it in virtually every situation. It's not perfect, but it's good in every situation. Second one, I absolutely love these. Stand-up style, especially in the winter. Puts the lure on a 45-degree angle so you can fish it dead sticking on the bottom. And lastly, EWG for those snaggy venues. Can't leave home without them. Tom's tournament tips, round number 10 for perch. So we're nearly finished. Let me know what species you want me to do next. Last tip is gonna be around using wire for big perch. I caught 34 perch over three pound last year. Probably 80% of them were on wire. Every time I got trebles on, so crankbaits, spinner baits, anything with a blade, anytime I'm likely to get pike, I'm always using wire. However, the trick with perch is keep it super light. 11 pound stuff, knottable, and keep it streamlined. Little clip, 15 inches, little loop, done.